Right. <laughs> you guys are in orbit right now, right? Yeah. In sure. orbit of noob. Just chilling out there. Um, I guess you all can decide what you want to do. You can see, uh, you can see the abandoned space station. They're not exactly really close to it yet. You'll have to kind of maneuver over there a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, depending on what you guys do, I'll give you some idea of what you're going to have to uh, roll and stuff like that in order to succeed. Okay, cool. But I think we just we had just gotten out um, into orbit, so looks like we're all up on the bridge right now. So Yeah, last time my notes say we got to suit up when we go. There's no power. We need a light source. We're going to force our way in because the umbilical doesn't work and we can't dock. Right? Is that all right? Mm -hmm. okay. Do we even have the correct tools to do something like that? <laughs> Tools. <laughs> there might be some tools there. So I'm going to jump into Andromeda now. Um, I think we could probably do a manual docking, manual dock. It'll be really hard, but I think we can do it. We do have a we do have quite the competent pilot. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm confident. Um, how much is the the damaged uh, thruster going to impact this? So, I mean, I, I, I'm comfortable with landing. I'm just not sure how much more difficult this would be with the damaged thruster that we have. This is going to be difficult. It's not going to be easy. Um, we're going to need probably all hands on deck. Do we have to get out of the ship or it's we do it inside? Uh, we can do this. We can do this from inside. What would the, if we don't succeed, what would be the worst that could happen? Explosive decompression. <laughs> um, you're Eyeballs kind of pop, you know, from a medical perspective, you know. We get a space grave. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fortunately, we'll it's know that much worse end. than the bins. Yeah. We'll know on our end if if we have a good connection. So okay. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Um, it's just getting getting you know docked with the station that that's going to be a process in itself. We're probably going to need, well, my suggestion is that, uh, you know, we, we, we give cable as much support as possible with, with the docking procedure. And then um, somebody needs to go and manually connect us. Okay. Is there a certain skill required or experience for something like that? Well, I guess I'll tell you that if we decided to do this as a manual, there's going to be a uh, cable is going to use a pilot check and you're going to have a negative three to that check. On top of our thrusters, or um, yeah. Uh, so I get so right now it's I have eight, ten, and minus five. So I'll have the roll. <laughs> All right, I, I suggest then, since we know this is going to be very difficult, let's go ahead and put on our compression suits prior to attempting this. So it's five plus if you assist, it's six. So. 
Uh, do we, we actually have to do we, this? Did we calculate that right? Well, so you had, the you dex is a negative a, two, right? The negative three, that's negative five. I have five plus three plus two, so that's ten. Like if nothing was wrong with the ship, I'd have a 10 to roll. We're a negative 5 and 10, right? I'm correcting the, my assumption. Because I have the plus 2 for this specific ship. I have a 3 in piloting, and I have a 5 agility. Please, second year. Where did we where did we mark the effects of the um thrusters? I just remember it was a negative two. So I remember it being even. Negative two. I was a positive two, so it washed out my plus. Or was it negative three? There two or three. I don't even remember that being a thing. Well, the thruster, remember, that's why we bought the materials, and that's why we're going to try to get more materials to cost a fortune to buy materials. Yeah, I didn't work. have it. I must oh. have missed the negative, too. If that's the case, then what we could do is um, I could repair the thrusters now with the, with the parts that we got, and that would help us out. It would just take me a little bit of time up here, you know, but... Uh, well, yeah. well I, that's what the big assumption that we find what we're looking for on the space station. Because if not, then the whole idea was we're likely to take that amount of damage. It's not like that damage was unusual. It could happen again when we go to the next planet and we don't find anything. We burn the one part. Even if we find one part on space, then we're a wash. It's a game. We did all of it for fun. Plus, probably other stuff. But I mean, I'm. Yeah. It says. I support her. I will try it. Try it. It's a fifty percent penalty. Um, with you helping, it'd be a forty percent penalty. Yeah, so we could always just try, and then Sorry about that. Um, you know, as long as we don't <clears throat> commit. So, so what we'll do. Um, Croker is we'll use the planet from planet fall rolls. Okay. Um yeah. So you might wanna <laughs> so what'll happen is is you could try it. If you fail the first time, you get minor component damage. If you try a second time and you fail, you get major component damage. If you try a third time and you fail, you blow up the ship. Um, but after the, the second, <laughs> after the second try, you could decide to stop, but who knows what kind of damage you're going to have. Well, then we would have to try to land with that somewhere to try to repair that with the no money we have left. Right. You know, it's good that I don't have to make these decisions. We have a captain for that. Mm. <laughs> I think we should try it. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, so that it would be a six, right? Because if she assists as the my assistant, she would get, it would be a six roll. Correct, yeah, right? I have a plus one. Yep. So technically, it should be perfect. Six die die, six rolls. One should definitely be a six by mathematical standard. <laughs> hey, you have those stun points too. Can we use those at all? Oh, you have stun points. Are those applicants? Didn't, Didn't you get like three stun points? Yeah, I got uh where did I put where did I put those? 
I don't remember the one. I put them somewhere, didn't I? I think there's, isn't there a spot on your sheet? Story points? Is it? No. Uh, I mean, we can go back to the roll. The roll is there, right? Yeah, so my last attempt at piloting was, um, four, I had four successes. One obviously is you, so I have three. Yeah. Done points, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to put those in my item. Three. Okay, in my gear. So I use this just for an extra die then? Yeah, for each one. Yeah, so that would actually, if you use all three, um, actually, can you use all at once? Uh, I mean, I don't know if you do really want, I don't know if you want all, especially if you fail, might want more. <clears throat> um I don't know where it is. This book drives me nuts. We could be the subject of just use one. I don't know if we would want to use them all anyway, because if we fail, we need the other attempt for another attempt or something like that. Are they called story points? Or no, that's the no. cinematic scenario. Right. Um I think it'd be under rolling dice. <laughs> oh, stunts are listed under each skill description. Jeez. <laughs> okay. All right. What's piloting? Um, for every extra you roll, choose one stunt applicable to the situation. Gain a plus one modification to a later skill relating to this one, or you show off. So it sounds like you can get the plus one. Okay, so plus one. Okay. So it's plus one for each. For each one. So I would assume that you use all three if you wanted to. Um, what's your thoughts, Captain? I mean, yeah, for it I maybe a nine roll. What's what oh. do we need to get as a success? A success would be one. Yeah, we one. just did. We have a negative modifier that makes it more difficult. Okay. If you have a success rate, same. You need one sex, basically. Yeah. And how many dice are we rolling at this point if we use all the stunts? Nine. Jeez. You can also have more people helping you. Yeah, I would save. I wouldn't use all of your points. So maybe like. So we really have to have more than one person help, though, to do this? Andromeda has piloting, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. So she could do another plus one. Yeah. So that would be a plus two. So then that would be. So if I just use one, that'd be eight die. I think that's eight. okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think we should say because what happens if we get into another situation where we need to use? Well, we get more damage <laughs> than we get fixed. Right. I think this is. I mean, while it's going to be hard, I don't know. Alright, so I guess we're well, trying. Yeah. I think we have I would luck. suggest I would suggest using them because um your stump points are gonna eventually expire. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're they're gonna expire after, you know, a while of not using a particular I guess because you're no longer you're no longer in the moment and yeah, like, the adrenaline rush of them. Good. Yeah. I can right. that. Well then so we're rolling what so three plus ten die. Yeah. The tube systems. Three. Yeah, but... <laughs> I mean, if we don't get one, something's wrong. Mm-hmm. That sounds right to me. You can also push the dice too if you need to. Yeah. 
Exchange stress, right? Okay. We're all good. You good? You good? Mm-hmm. good with this? Are we putting our suits on? I think from a medical perspective, I think that we should. Because if anything should happen, should we, you know, bump a hole in anything? I mean, we're going to have to put them on anyway. We need them anyway to be on the space so, station. So, so let's I suggest, suit up. suggest we suit up before we go on the space station. We need to decide who's going to go on the space station first, though. Not everyone needs to. Well. Yeah, I was going to stay in the ship, obviously. I'm, I'm a pilot. I, I would be. Then maybe yeah. you should definitely suit up just in case something <laughs> <happens>. <laughs> You can take it well, off we, after. That's true. We can seal the bridge. Oh. Yeah, we did that before. Right. You know what, what if it's the bridge that hits something? Then wouldn't we all be just sealed in with even a worse situation? Less oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make executive decisions. I don't know that I want to stay on the bridge. <laughs> hey. Where's the lock? Well, what part of the ship are we actually docking with? Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's like, we'll just say um, it's on the top of the ship. Yeah, so the bridge is safe. Okay. Yeah. We'll we'll say somebody has to go uh, to the top deck um, where the ladder is. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, one person has to be there to the money has to assist with the manual locking. That person should be wearing a suit. <laughs> and actually, you might even want to leave one suit in the bridge. Just are the suits in the bridge? No. So what would happen if we poked a hole, and then we need to get to the hole, and all the suits are where? The... <laughs> what we just trap suits outside the room that we need? Well, uh, Ward is nodding and. <laughs> I don't know, what, Andromeda. What are what are your um needs as it comes to operating in a vacuum? Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be fine. It's a pretty broad statement. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> she needs to stay on the bridge to pilot. Do we really know? We have nine. We have okay, nine maybe not. Off. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Send send Andromeda up. You want me to go? Okay. I, think how, so. I mean, how much can she? She can probably hold a lot more than we can, can we? Yeah. Can she? She's strong. She also understands it better. I don't know. If we do it. Yeah. She's a walker. Uh, right. I don't know. Y'all so have, have to well, talk me through it. The medic or the uh, representative has to go. If not. I think Andromeda is good to go. That's probably a good idea because I'm I'm probably more skilled in this area. Mm-hmm. It is going to require a check. Do you need a hand out there? Um, no, I think I'll be okay. Okay. So is she the only one going now? I believe so. Yeah. Well, she's the only one going to help Doc. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I thought she yeah. meant. Okay. Yeah. Then does, we'll anybody figure out. A, does anybody else have a point in piloting? In what? Piloting. No, I do not. Titanic, you definitely do not. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just checking. <clears throat> All right. I'm ready anytime anybody else is. Yeah. I think we're... Do we need to strap in like we would be lifting off or are we okay just to stay? Um, stay seated. Yep. Just we'll be, yeah. Okay. If you can be. Um, I'm going to run and uh, get all the compression suits. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I run off and say, I'll be right back. <laughs> Can you carry them all? <laughs> Turn gonna try. Oh. <laughs> we'll assume he can make multiple trips while I'm preparing anyway. We'll ask the- I'll right. go with you and help. You're going to go help? Yeah, I'll go help him. 
Good job. So how do I add on the stunt points into my roll? It's a modifier. Yeah, it's a modifier. When that modifier box pops up when you when you roll. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah just add it in. Right. Um, so so the uh compression the compression suits that we are or that you all are going to wear do have built in cameras and such. So Okay. Cable will be able to watch whoever goes in there from and we here. can communicate back and yeah. forth. Yeah, anyone gets eaten, I fly away. Or did you fall? So it's probably the you know, don't mean to be speaking for you, Captain, but it's probably best if we uh, come up with a plan before we execute anything. There, so, how many turns can up. we take? How is that going to affect us? Hmm? Like, with the <laughs> amount of turns, like, how many turns can we take? Like, I don't understand what you're saying by, like, each movement takes a turn. Oh, I got you. Um, yeah, I think you had got to walk us through this a little bit. This is just like before when, well, uh, well, at least for you two. <laughs> but uh, you know, from room to room, is, it takes a turn, and when you take a turn, it each turn requires a supply roll. So from room to room is going to be a supply roll. <laughs> Right. And then if you are going to search a room, that will also take a turn, which also requires a supply roll. Okay. And that determines if it's using air, right? Yeah. Right. Um, do we so know how many rooms have, are in this space station? You don't have no, any. We don't have a map or anything. Any information. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, are are fast and slow actions coming into play here or no? No. Okay. What's a supply roll? So these suits have a supply of five air. Five, have five air. Oh, oh yeah. You would okay. click it's on you would click supply. on air under consumables to do a Thank roll you. when you click okay. on your character sheet. I didn't understand what supply meant. Thank you. So when you go from one room to the next and do a supply roll, you're going to start with five stress dice um, t- t- just for the roll. It's not so added to your pool. It's so just we'll for... Put, yeah. So and, we'll put five under air and then yeah. click that to roll? No, all, uh, all you got to do is click on, click on air under consumables. Okay. I think... Yeah, all you got to do is click. Yeah, see, I just I just did a roll, but just, oh, for just real? click on air. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, nice. And you lost air. <laughs> okay. well, couldn't you come back on a ship? Like, how do we re add air to this? Like, is that something we have to like purchase? Is that something we we're able to produce? I think it refills so, from the state from the ship, doesn't see. it? Yeah, when it gets put back in. So could we technically go back on the ship and keep searching? Yep. You could. Okay, that makes sense. So we need to do a roll each time we move to a room or search for oxygen. Roll for air. You roll for, for air. air. Yeah. 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 Do we need to roll to find something? Yes. Because we're because okay. we're it. we're spending the time to Search, right? Yes, that's going to be a observation check. Okay. So we would do an observation and a air then. Right. You would gotcha. do air first. So that's if cool. I have an observation cool, cool. of one, I only get to roll one? Well, you add your you add your core to it too. So observation is... Uh, wits. Is what? Wits. Uh, so you add your wits plus... Yeah. Yeah, because so when you click it, it says modifiers. Yeah, yeah, if you click on observation, it'll roll it for you. Oh, okay. So, you, all right. Okay. What would you put in as modifier? The, whatever your wits is. Isn't that right? No. No. Your modifier would be like if I told you um, there's a negative because okay. of or something. Yeah, okay. 
So it would automatically roll my five. It would add the wits to observation. It knows yes. That on the field. Yes. Thank you. I, did, okay. I, just, I just did a roll okay. and just to see if and that's, yep. that's, that is how it works. Okay. Thank you. So, so, Titanic, you would, you would have just lost two air supply right man. there. Just okay. <laughs> All right. I was wondering what so those then, little figures meant. So then if that happens, you subtract that two from your consumable air. Yeah. And then so, the next time you roll that air, it's only going to roll three strike. Uh, three okay. Strike. All right. Gotcha. All right, this is making sense. We have, I don't think we've done anything like this. So if it's all yellow, you don't use any air. Right, exactly. All right. Okay. Yep. And then the same with observation. So observation would be all black if you passed. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what's that? With observation, it would be all black if you passed, right? No, no. You want, uh, you want the, the little reticle looking. Oh, you do? Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, when you do wow. observation, if you get stunts, uh, nope, nothing there. Nope, never mind. Nothing there is going to help you. Stunt points won't count for you. Okay. For church. So, you'll, you'll just have to do your, your, uh, your core every time. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense to everybody. And if you run out of air, bad things are <laughs> happening. <laughs> so. Is Ward back with the suits? Um, as I as I was coming back, I had um, I had two suits over my shoulder, and then I was trying to carry three helmets at once when I <laughs> came upon Titanic. It's like, oh, thank goodness! Uh, <laughs> here, and I just kind of roll a helmet his way. I was like, I got these two, and I'm gonna take off. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so, who's staying with the ship, and who's? I know I'm staying, but am I the only one staying? And can technically Andromeda go? She doesn't technically expend air. Can she just keep searching? I could. Yep. Well, but I don't want to go alone. No, 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 not alone. Meaning we had an issue, though. She could technically. I think um, it's a it's a space station, right? Um, what was it? Was it's an abandoned research facility, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I think Ward should go. I'm going to go, and Andromeda is going to go. Titanic, I don't think you're ready to go out. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'll stay back. <laughs> yeah, I think if um, mm -mm. if Cable needs any assistance, you'll be there to help him and as like a right hand. About a guy because. You guys are the ones in, the, in danger. Right. I haven't heard any of this because I dropped off two suits and I went back to go get the rest. Uh, <laughs> so, well, when you come back, you'll have information. <laughs> I'm assuming you would like to go. Work. It sounds like you're going to the space station. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have any light sources? I'm pretty sure it's going to be dark there. I have a high beam flashlight. Um, the only one we have. Yep. So I, I walk yeah. in the door about that time, and I got the rest of the suits. Um, and th there's a there's a headlamp on on our suits. There should be like a little one. And I pick up the helmet and be like, it's right there. Oh, okay. Very good. Um, I, have I would still bring a flashlight though, because they're not exactly that bright. Uh, what is that under? And do I need to roll for it? At all? What's that? The flashlight. Don't no, it just makes it so a room isn't dark. That's all. Okay. Okay. I, so I don't have to roll any flashlight. I do. And there's there's none in the ship inventory, so unless y'all've got them on your hands, <laughs> just stay yeah, close. we only were able to get one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't see in the dark. Just say, oh no. Hmm. No. 
So if it's okay, um, since I'm not wearing a suit, um, can I use that flashlight? Yeah, you can. Okay. Now that that might help when you're outside anyway. Yeah, make sure you take that off of your your gear list. And make sure you're keeping everybody, make sure you're keeping track of your encumbrance. And I say, hold on a second. And I, and I, I, uh, what does that mean? I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull a shoestring out of my boot and reach over and tie it to the flashlight and then reach over and tie it to her wrist. I said, I, I don't want you, I don't want you to lose this thing <laughs> <laughs> because when you go out and you, you, you're going to be in zero G out there. So I'm taking it off my list permanently just because I'm giving it to her. Because mm -hmm. you no longer, you're not holding it. Because you're adding it to her inventory. Okay, so you're putting it on her list? Yeah. Okay. And how do we do encumbrance? You should... If you have in your gear, you should be writing... You should be keeping track on how much your stuff weighs. Oh, Ugh. I didn't do that. Nope. We need time to do that, then. I write it next to each piece. And then you're supposed to add it to your encumbrance on your sheet. What is the suit's encumbrance? Is it the IRC MK 50 compression suit? Yep. They are. It says weight one. Yep. So that would be one encumbrance. Yeah, sorry, I did not do this. Uh, Let's see. And the other stuff I listed in gear, do I have to bring it with me? No, you can leave stuff behind. Just make sure you make note, of, somehow make note of it that you left it behind or something like maybe you left it in your locker or something. Let me look these up and see first if I shouldn't carry them. So I got a question with that. So my encumbrance is at zero. I have one set of binoculars that weigh half a pound. So does that mean I'm already over encumbrance? No. That means your encumbrance would be at 0 0.5. When you are over, so you can carry up to double your strength. Okay. Okay. If you go over that, you then are over encumbered, and then okay. open. This is important because if we're, you know, if we're going on the ship and picking up stuff, you, you know, you can only carry so much. Yeah. In the back. Mm -hmm. Where is encumbered? Where is the? Yeah, I don't see different that. stuff. What are you looking for? My gear. I'm trying to figure out any of the encumbrances of my gear. Um, yeah, I don't see encumbrance on the character sheet. Oh, it's um. See where it says better building better worlds at the bottom. Yeah. Go past weapons, and it's right above that on the right. It says encumbrance. There's a oh box. okay. So we are supposed to change that number, or I, um, yes, mm -hmm. okay, right. Okay, like right now with all the stuff I'm carrying, I'm at two point five. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, you can't put a. Do, do we round it up or down? Or I mean. You don't. Do, do we round at all? No. No. Because mm -hmm. I tried to put 2.25 in there, and it's awesome the way it formats it. But my strength is... T that means that I'm officially over-encumbered then, isn't it? It's twice your strength. Twice your strength, I'm sorry. Yeah. But remember, we're carrying... We. I mean, do we have any idea how heavy like the piece was that we bought? 
Yeah, so that's um, good and ship inventory. Each one is going to cost, or each one is going to weigh <clears throat> weigh one. Okay. okay. Did, you, did, did you put it in ship inventory or? It says one mechanical part for the ship up top. I guess we got to add it in your. Oh, that's right. I I didn't. I didn't uh, add the. Which is this way. <laughs> okay. If you need help finding something, let me know. Ward, do you normally carry med kits with you? Um, when we go off, show. yes, I do. I have one that I carry on me. I can okay. grab another one if we, if you think we no, need. No, that's it. fine. I just wanted to make sure you had something that I don't need to take <laughs> mm -hmm. that you might share with the rest of the crew. Oh, I'm supposed to share. <laughs> <laughs> you are our medical. <laughs> Right? Medic. Medic. Okay. All right. I will grab, I will take two then with us. Medic. Okay. So the, the suit is one. So I, okay. So I got my encumbrance then. Good, good. Okay. Once we get there and we get the lay of the line, we kind of maybe see the first room, figure out we'll we'll kind of put together a plan for how to move through, whether we split up mm -hmm. or we go. But like, it's hard to tell without a map. Yeah. Would you want to like try to map it out or? That makes sense to do that. Do you have something that would map it out? No, I do not. No. No. I was gonna say, does someone have those cool funky ups? I ups. think they're a little yep. out of our uh, price range. Yeah. We're kind of dirt poor at the moment. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we have a um a rep with us. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I don't expect uh, the strings to be able to be pulled. They say, get me a raise, but I don't get paid anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Would the video be recorded? Or is it just live feed? Mother could probably record it, couldn't she? Okay. Mother, can you uh, record? <laughs> <laughs> can you record our... Rec record the audio from our uh, helmet cams? And video. Uh, I'm going to say no. Okay. This is strictly live feed. Is that a security concern? Or? Yes. Okay. Well, I think I've got my suit on. Everyone else have their suit on? That's going Nope. On. Or not, not wearing a suit. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not going to wear a suit. Me neither. Yeah, I'm, putting, I'm putting the suit on. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> yeah. Okay, do you want me to go get in place or? Yeah. We wait till, we, maybe we, we should wait till we get closer. Oh, to dock? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put my suit on to dock. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking that we're attached already. We're still in the bridge though, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, everybody's still in the bridge. Oh, yeah. 
And I'm, I'm assuming when we put these suits on, anything that we want to access, we have to put in pockets outside the suits too. Because if it's on our own pockets and we're wearing the suit, we're not going to be able to get to stuff, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure there's holsters and all that stuff, right, on the suit. Yeah. So we should probably get closer to this place first um, and then start docking procedures. What do you think, Cable? Yeah, sounds good. I'm ready for my uh, roll. No, no, you don't have to roll for this. We're just zooming over, getting closer to it um, so we can kind of see what we're, what we're dealing with and such. Right now, it's kind of, kind of far. It's just like a little dot out there. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Let's roll. I'm I'm buckling in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah buckling I am too. Yeah. Probably a good idea. Buck, buckle in. Get ready. Take us away, Gable. All right, ready for the roll? No, this is still we're still so yeah. <laughs> so what, what do I? I'm ready. I'm I'm already going. Okay. All right. So, uh, you approach the space station, and details begin to become apparent. The first detail you notice is that the space station is square with an outer ring and inner ring. The outer ring is narrow. The outer ring has narrow two features while the outer ring is larger, chunkier, and shaped like a box. The outer ring has floor-to-ceiling windows. Some of the windows appear to have been damaged. There are cracks and holes in some. A couple of windows are, apparent, are completely shattered. In some areas next to the windows, there are tables and chairs. They were probably used when the space station occupants ate or took, took a break. Some of the tables and chairs have been knocked over. Base debris and neglect are more than likely the cause for the damage you can see. The inner ring is square with rooms protruding outward towards the outer ring, but not attached to the outer ring. The inner ring appears to be quite solid. There are a few portholes, but you don't recognize much else since there is no way to see inside. Thinking back on your, well, we kind of covered this already, but thinking back on your conversation with Amano, you were reminded that the space station does not have power or life support. Life support. You will have to explore this, this space station blindly and in the vacuum. Whatever occupants that were last to leave the space station took what they could with them, but Amana felt confident that you would have no problem finding the spare parts you were looking for. If you look hard enough, you might find some additional supplies. On the south side of the outer ring, you find a docking umbilical. And hopefully that is all you see, I hope. Mm-hmm. That it did this yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you should see just like a little yep. kind of triangle shape in your characters. Yep. Okay. Um, that's it. That's where we're at. Okay. Are we on a the square is uh, the ship itself. What's that? Where that we're in is our ship. Is that our ship that we're in? Yeah, all right. That's what we're looking at. That you're in. The, you, Would this be the effect on the ship? I'm having like a really hard time hearing both of you. Yeah, same here. Yeah, she kind of went out of. Uh... Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. The the boxes, the box that all of our people are in, is that the ship that we're on? Is that the Halifax? Uh, no, that's just. Oh, okay. okay. A little bit of oh, an area okay. that I let you die open so you can see your people. Um, they, yeah, you don't you don't have to. You know, actually, we're in a ship or anything like that. 
Aren't we still on the ship to dock? Yeah, it's just not physically there. It's not on the screen. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, <laughs> no, no, I just want to make sure I was understanding. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I am ready to. So we're ready to make the approach. Um, I guess the drama needs to get in position. Is she in position already? <laughs> we will say that. We'll put her right here to say that yes, she is. And right, we all have our suits on. Captain, are you ready to assist? In- I am. Yeah, let's just. Here. Um, second. Sorry, get out of it. Okay. So nine is the roll. So I just need to add one modifier. Cross your fingers. Here we go. Here we go, gang. Buckle up. Things are starting to get a little bumpy. I'm, I'm buckled in. Hey, hey, we did it. Andromeda is looking at the little uh, porthole, and she sees the umbilical coming closer and closer and closer. And it looks like things are lining up. Andromeda and Cable are some, saying some things back and forth to each other, and um, you feel a little like a bump, and things shake around a little bit, and you wait. And you wait, and you wait, <coughs> and you wait, <laughs> and you wait, and I'm just holding on to the seatbelt, just kind of looking around, <laughs> not waiting, not going. like waiting to feel something. And you feel a a rough bump. And you notice that in drama, she's she's panicking a little bit. She's saying she's saying, I can't lock on, I can't lock on. Keep can you keep her steady? Can you keep her steady? Yeah, I got, I got control. Okay. Um Go ahead and give me another pilot roll. Same thing. Okay. <laughs> you get to use his uh, stunt dice again? Yeah, he's got a stunt dice. Oh, yeah, right. It's okay. We didn't discuss I that it. a little bit. Actually, yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't have them. Yeah. So roll that again, minus three dice. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, actually minus two because you got another stump point in the last roll. Yeah. Right. Okay, so roll again minus two. So I have a negative one modifier then. She's rolling seven dice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> See, try to hold steady, and things just aren't aren't working out. Um, and you back out away from the umbilical, and you're pretty sure you feel something. You hear a noise. That you don't want to hear right now. So, I guess how's pushing to die instead, though? Like what you were saying, so I'm pushing to die. Would that cause the same issue? I say you can push if you want. I still. It's just going to give you one stress die. But it won't cause yeah. any bonus damage, right? Mm-mm. No, it's, it's, it's stress to you. So how does that work? It's stressed to whoever's helping. Well, you and whoever's helping. 
So do I re-roll the whole die or just roll? Well, because you didn't get any, yeah, you would re-roll them all. Okay, so I just re-roll and I take on one stress by re-rolling them all? You and F- Helen and Ward will all get one stress. Uh, Ward's not assisting, though, is he? No, Ward's not assisting. Yeah, it's, it's just not. No, I'm yeah. locked in my chair. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> right. close. So I'm going to try again, but this time it's a six die because I have new stun point. Oh, right. Yep. And you would get one stress if it, no matter what, because you're pushing it? Yeah. Both I say do it. I say do it. Oh, we both do. Yeah, yeah, we both do. And what does stress do? We'll get there. Okay. Right. Well, I'm, I'm putting on a stress and I'm rolling again. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, what are the odds? Uh, so it's uh, so I'm rolling with it's me and her. I got five. So wait, how many die am I rolling again? Oh yeah, I'm rolling six. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I've got I'm just adding the math every time I do this minus That system is pretty cool. <laughs> That's okay. Yay. Job. Do you start you start to feel things getting out of place and you're like you're like, oh shit. And you kinda kinda like panic or you don't panic, you start to feel a little, you know, your sweat dripping down your head. And um but you regain control and you yell up yell up to Andromeda, uh, do it now. And Andromeda's up there and she sees the umbilical coming once again <laughs> and you're waiting you're waiting and you feel another jolt it feels pretty heavy this time but then everything stops and you hear John say, Hey, we're good down there. We're, we're all hooked up. Good job. Nice. Oh. Good job, Cable. Thank you. That one was uh that one was definitely uh <laughs> this is the limit. <laughs> yeah. So from now on, whenever you either of you do a check. You have to roll that stress die. If you get a if you get a picture on there, then you panic and things happen. Do we okay? Do we roll it with the check or after? Yeah, so like if um, you won't roll it with um, supply checks, but if you do it like an observation, if you're going to search a room, oh, you will then. Okay. So you roll it after you do the check. Yeah, I think there's a way. Oh, you added it to your uh, your sheet. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I have that in there. Yeah, there's a stress yeah. level. You add that, and then I think you click it. You click panic. Automatically. Yeah, and it I think it sorts it for you. Adds the die to your rolls. It did. Oh. It added yellow to mine. Piloting. Oh, control. that's what that okay. was. Yeah. Okay. Thank God there was no picture. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So um, Andromeda comes back down and to the bridge to meet up with you all. Hey, good job, Andromeda. Thanks for Thank helping you. us out. I kind of I kind of messed up there at first. Um, I just missed it, but that's uh, okay. It was your first time. Yeah. So I can get out of my seat now. We're oh. we're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you sure it's safe? I couldn't hear you. We couldn't hear I couldn't hear you again. I think your mic's too low. I said we're docked, guys. I think we're good. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's well, I'm ready when you all are. You guys, um, keep an eye on our camp. Hmm? 
I'll be right back. So you can keep going. <laughs> Quick breather. there. So he's staying on the sh- he's staying on the ship, and does that mean that the, all four of us are going? Titanic staying. So Titanic staying as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm staying on the ship. Yeah. So Titanic, if you see anything strange that we don't see, let us know on the camera. Oh, I will. I'll be watching. Okay. If you see anything good that we should grab that we don't see, let us know that too. Oh, so cables going. Cables going then. No, cable staying. Okay. Okay. Cable and Titanic are going to stay together just in case. Cable needs assistance. He has it from Titanic. Now, can I make an observation roll from what you guys see? No. I would imagine no. it would be very difficult to do so because you're watching through a little bit. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah. I was just curious. So I didn't... All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to start heading on down. Yeah. Towards, I guess, where the, uh, I guess, I guess there's an airlock down there. Yep. That's pretty much what this little nub here is. Um, and I've got my, um, I, I've moved my knife to uh, outside the suit. Okay. Uh, just letting you all know that I have my, um, my maintenance jack and my bolt gun with me. Maintenance check. Okay. Just in case. You have my flashlight, right, Andromeda? You didn't lose it. Um, where did I put that thing? It's attached to her wrist <laughs> by <a> string. <laughs> Ward gave you tied as it to you. As it's dragging behind her, she's like, "Oh, there it is." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, keep it together, Andromeda. Yes. <laughs> Got a boss. <laughs> no, you just had a very exciting moment, so it's fine. Yeah. See, I thought she was going to have to go outside the ship while we were docking to manually lock stuff in. That's why I was having her strap the uh, no. the, no. the, flat, the flashlight down. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought, too. Because I, I could just see the flashlight just spinning off into space, the little, little light just <laughs> flipping and flipping and spinning. Whoops. spinning. <laughs> <laughs> now do you guys think you should all stay together or do you think you should go off in different directions we're going to wait and see what the first room looks like and assess see how many yeah I would say uh, Helen let's use let's just use Helen's token for now and then if we if we do branch off at some point then okay. we'll use all our tokens and I'm just gonna take. You probably, will, you guys probably won't be able to see them. I'm just gonna take them out of the mix right now. I'll take us out too, just so it's less confusing. And then you, we can pretty much go when you're ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be. Yeah, I'll, I'll be front and center. I don't mind. Okay. So, what you see in what Helen? I guess Helen, are you going first? I think Andromeda should go first. Word, and then me behind. Okay. Andromeda will go first. Then um, I, I kind of frown a little bit, look at you, and, you know, whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Andromeda's a android. I think her going first makes sense. Yeah. But you're close behind. I'm, I'm kind of kind of bouncing bouncing with anticipation. <laughs> what we're gonna find? All right, she um, Andromeda turns on her flashlight and she starts to open the hatch. Well, what, what, what did we did we lock the airlock behind us <laughs> before you open stuff? Yeah, yeah, we're 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 good. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Whoops. As you get sucked. Yeah, sucked right in. Um, So you open the hatch, and in front of you, this is my first time doing this, so bear with me here. You see. Do you see something else? 
Mm-hmm. It's working. Okay. Yep. There seems to be a mother station and a com tech thing. Mm-hmm. There's a terminal and a and a a um uh yeah communication port thing, whatever you call it. Intercom. That's it. Obviously, obviously, there's no power, so they don't work. But oh, okay, they're there. So the hatch going into the space station is locked, or or it's shut tight right now. So uh, you still have air. But once we open this hatch, more than likely, uh, we're going to start using air. So. She uh, Andromeda goes up and starts opening that door, and when she turns the hatch, a wheel, whatever you call it, uh, it it turns fine. Um, you hear it unlock, and she pushes it open, and you all step through. Now, from here on out, when you go, oh, I gotta, I gotta, yeah, do my thing. If I don't, if I forget to do that, just let me know. <laughs> Oh, oh, with the map. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, uh... Now, when is, she is steps... This a wa- Sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is this a Wayland yutani space station? Yeah. Okay. Um, do we have audio with Titanic? You you do with cable and Titanic, yes. Yeah. Okay. And they can see what we're seeing? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you guys. Mm-hmm. Titanic, have you ever been on a space station like this or have any any uh, insight into like direction that we should go or the layout? No, to be honest with you, no. Okay. So are we seeing an open doorway in front of us possible, but it's dark? Is that what we see? Andromeda? Yeah, there's a door in front of us. Okay. Now, when, now when, she, when she steps through and steps out of the airlock, are her feet on the ground? Or is she in zero G? Oh, no, you're floating. So we're floating? Well, she's mm-hmm. floating. I mean, we're still in the airlock, right? <laughs> oh. No, no, yeah. no. I'm using just one token for all of us. Oh, okay. We're all, okay. We're all in a in a small group right now. Oh, we're floating now. Mm-hmm. Do we have like magnetic boots or something, or we have to stay floating? Uh, no, you you will stay floating. Okay. And we're used to this. This is like fine. Yep. <laughs> okay. Ward is, Ward is spinning circles. <laughs> <laughs> just bouncing off, bouncing <laughs> off what would be the ceiling and floors, and just having a great time. Focus word. <laughs> and I say, I, I say, I, lo- I love this. It has been so yeah. long since I've done this. This is so much fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enjoy it. Can you see more to the left? Yeah, it's like a triangle kind of cut out. Yeah, it's a slant. You can see that. Okay. So that's a dead end. No, that's a. It looks like it's a turn. Yeah, it's a corridor. Well, did it work on the other side too? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are those doors at the end? No, those... that that's sight lines, isn't it? Hmm? No, those are doors. Oh, okay. They're actually doors. Okay. Wow. So are there two doors facing that's forward, hard. or is that just one door? That's hard to tell. Uh, from what door you can right see, here, double doors, or is this door when right here? When you're shining your uh, flashlights down there, well, it's well, just I mean, one door. Okay, but it has like a little gap in the line. That's how we tell it's a door. That's just the way it drew. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna float down to the door and kind of look through. I don't know if there's a window in the door or. Okay. Which one are you going to? Uh, well, there's just one on either side, right? Yeah, left or right. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go to the left one. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to you know, kind of shine the helmet cam through it. 
I'll go to the right one when he does that. Stay close. Well, we're in the hallway, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, Ward, you go to the left and you peer through. You can't really uh, see too much because of the angle. But what you can see looks pretty much identical to what you see in this the room you, you are in right now. There's a couple chairs, tables floating around, things like that. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty much what we saw outside mm -hmm. through the windows, y'all. Okay. Colin, uh, same thing. Okay. Yeah, same. Doesn't look any any different. I, I think we got to get to that. We got to figure out how to get to that inner ring. I think that's where, yeah. where we need let's to hit. Let's keep going in. These are gonna be. Yeah, let's go in forward. Okay. All right, in. Helen, we going to follow you or... No, we're still following Andromeda. All right, well, yeah, I'm going to drag you all back out again. Okay. All right. So Andromeda goes and tries to open the door. This isn't sealed like the other door, so this one just simply opens, and it does. Mm -hmm. And... You see that. That is a tight corridor. And now you all need to make a supply rolls. Can you remind me how how much a square is as far as uh, Yeah, is there a metric or, or yeah. So no, this so this works by zones. So oh, it doesn't you, matter, right? So you were in one zone and then you just entered another zone. I'm asking because I have a weapon and it has a footage on it. So I'm just curious if the squares correlate in any way, like two feet, four feet, whatever. No. Okay. Actually, yeah, they should be me there. I gotta find another map making thing. This isn't the okay. best. Um, so we're rolling. This is, this is my handiwork here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're rolling for. Yes. So since I rolled, does that mean that I lose one supply? Yes. Okay. I just click on air. Just click on air. Oh, I lose one, two. Okay. I get y'all. I sorry. I, I guess I spent too much time just spinning around and jumping off the walls. I might have must have burned up a little bit of my air. <laughs> sorry about that. I'll try to tone my excitement down. So, uh, in this room, it's just a like you said, a very tight corridor, um, like a hallway. Uh, more than likely, you your I mean, you can see there's a couple of portholes again, not windows, but portholes. And when you look through them, you can see probably what are the rooms that were protruding out of the center, the inner ring. So more than likely, you're you're heading right in right into the inner ring. Hmm. Do you want to keep going? Yeah. Okay. There is another door. Andromeda opens a door. And then you see I definitely should that's a different way.
basically all that is revealing itself. Okay. Can y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of like a big gigantic square. All right. When you enter this room, there's another terminal, an intercom. And there are uh, a few other doors, and and it looks like a few other bigger doors that would probably lead to individual rooms. Okay, when you look this, around, so that we would this would be the inner the inner cube. Then, yeah, you are okay. more than likely in the inner ring right now. Okay, there's not much out here other than what you see, um, but there are. On, on the rooms that are in the corners, uh, in the northwest room, mm -hmm. on the door you see a sign that has a, uh, a wrench on it. Mm. Also see on you also see that again on the southeast room. At the northeast room, you see a sign on the door that looks like a radiation symbol. And at the southwest room, you see a sign that has uh, a bed on it. And I need you all to make a supply roll. Before you do that, I'm going to run and check my computer to see if I have any information about the space station. <laughs> well, we need to go ahead and make our supply roll, though, because we're in the room. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Oh. oh. Okay. Do we have to roll when we go back out? Uh huh. Each room that we go back out. <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> oh, okay. I come back and resupply. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey, Dad. Um. <laughs> It definitely would. You know, let's forget about the... Um, <laughs> you guys see those doors with the wrenches on them? I think we should try to get into those. That's what we came for anyway. Forget about the rooms with the beds right now. Okay. If Ward doesn't leave that room, we'd still make a supply check, though. The, if, like, they enter the room if he's staying in the room he's currently in. He has to move to have to do a room. Yeah. So if he just stayed, you guys could check out the one room while he stays in the center room. That's true. Because he has a very little idea. We can split up too. We could split up. Maybe we should. I can go back and resupply and uh, see if I can you know, keep my stuff together a little bit better next time around. <laughs> Oh, what do you are you at two right now? Yes. Yeah, my air is less than half of <laughs> what we have already. <laughs> and you're rolling good. We don't need Andromeda dragging you out. <laughs> I know, right? So okay. do you want me to go back and resupply real quick? I'm scared you're gonna come back in and just be back at the same spot. <laughs> It's worth a shot, isn't it? <laughs> Hold them not to hyperventilate every time you go in. I, <laughs> You're going to have to roll two more times to go out. Yeah, I guess you should. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if y'all y'all want to just wait right here and I'll I'll run back. So I guess I got to roll twice to get back to the ship and then roll mm -hmm. twice to get back in here. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to the hallway. And I know one. <laughs> Do you want me to go to your room and get any medical supplies for you? So they're there waiting. Air. Hey, that that the only thing that'll help. I would stand up so we can drag him the rest of the way out if something happens. And, so uh, I, I guess I'm, I'm I guess I'm gonna yell back, Hey Andromeda, um Yeah, I'm having a hard time here. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna 
Make the jump to the next hallway real quick, okay? Yep. Andromeda is gonna follow you. Good. Okay. Good. All right. <laughs> so that's enough for me to get back into yeah. back into the airlock. And I guess there's uh, something we can plug no. into in the airlock, or I have no, to close the not, airlock. You are not safe yet. You have one more to do because you have to get back into the ship and close it and pressurize. You're still, okay. you, yeah, you're still in the space station right now. <laughs> Andromeda's with you, though. All right, so it's another, another air roll to get into the to shut the airlock. I guess mm-hmm. that's right because it's an action I'm doing. Yeah. Come on. All right, so Andromeda's getting in the airlock with me, please. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on in here. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can do this without passing out. Yep. Yay. Hey, how about Good that? Job. All right, so I'm gonna say, so Helen, uh, I'm I'm good. I'll be good. P- be back in a back in a minute here. So we go back to I guess five is where we're supposed to be. Yeah. All right. And is there we're, a way to like send spare tanks of them. It, uh, our um, our like, suits. I'm gonna say our suits only hold a certain amount. Uh, yeah. So there's no way to like bring like we don't, yeah. The, for the other suits with you. Yeah, the tanks are built into our suits, so I mean, we're we're recharging directly from ship reserves. Yeah. That makes sense. Is there better suits out there on the market? That we, that we'll we'll see what we can right there. Yeah. All right. So All right. You gonna, you, gonna, you gonna head back? Yeah, so we can. I know we can open it and go in without penalty, right? Yeah, right here because fine. we're all, mm-hmm. yeah because we're already in. So I'm gonna roll twice. Roll once to get into the hallway. <laughs> yep. All right. There you go. Good job. I'm going very slowly. <laughs> I'm just taking my time, and breathing really slowly, and, and I just kind just kind of push off, and I'm just floating very slowly. <laughs> Down the hallway, <laughs> and okay. I'm down by one. Yeah, oh, okay. so I'm in the room. Okay, good. Should we split up? I say, I well, it's your call. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say, well, I don't know that we need to go in the radiation room. Um, no. Yeah, I, I would suggest that we don't go in there. Right. So we've got two rooms with wrenches on them and one with a bed on it. Yep. Why don't uh, Andromeda, you want to go into the... Um, well, actually, we'll let the captain make the decisions. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm just, I'm just kind of floating left and right, just kind of pushing off one side and floating back and then... Pushing on the other, and then kind of, kind of push off. No the playing around with you. <laughs> <laughs> you just got back in here. Um, I'm going slowly this time. Let's have. And I'm slowly spinning upside down. I don't know. I don't know if we should split up or go together. I um. I'd hate for all of us to have to do checks for the same room. I should. I, I my opinion is that we we do, um, but after we check these rooms, maybe I can run ahead a little bit. Okay. Okay. So we go together. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty good at finding Waldo. So. Okay. Yes, I, still, um, I, still, I just think we all should knock these rooms out one on one, 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 or you know, everybody go into one room. Okay, let's go into the <laughs> south southwest. Is the bedroom? Who do you want to go there? Oh, do we want to look in the bedroom? I mean, I would or think we that that's, the wrench. Yeah, that would have been private private supplies. That I mean, if people brought it onto the station, they could have taken it off. So I right, I, that's true. Logic suggests you know. Okay. Yeah, the maybe, first maybe the wrench stuff. Yeah. Yeah. North northwest mm-hmm. room, I think. Okay. So who's going in there? We're all going in. They want all of us to go in one room. That's what we agreed on, right? Just now. 
Yeah, I thought you okay. said that everyone should go on them. Already. I'm, I'm con- wait, I'm confused. What did it, I thought Andromeda said we should all go together. No, I suggested but, that we all go in one and we all split up. I misunderstood that as well. Yeah, that wasn't clear. Okay. So we're uh, all going into separate rooms. That's so, my suggestion. Okay. There's three rooms? Yes. So someone and one of them is a bedroom. Mm-hmm. Okay. So who's well, going in the bedroom? That's what you, that's what you think, according to the mm-hmm. sign. Okay. Um, it's your call, Cap. Did you see the day? Um... I don't know. Um, How about this? Let's take a break real quick. Uh, Cable and Titanic, do you guys want to do anything while we give them a quick break? Yeah, I want to run and check my uh, room real quick. I'll stay on the bridge and just keep watching over. Okay. Um, Cable, you hear... Titanic just run out of the room. He doesn't say anything. He just leaves you there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so Titanic is gone. Um, and that's that. And K, we're just going to stay there. Yeah, I will monitor for now. Okay. Going pretty, pretty calm and confident. Hey, a little stress there, though. Once the adrenaline comes down, be interesting. Okay, uh, we can head back to our group inside the space station. And figure out what we're going to do. What do you think, boss? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I'll go in. I'll go in the bedroom door, and you guys can go in the wrench doors. Okay. Um, I guess I'll take I'll take Northwest Ward. Is that good. Yep, I'll cover the southeast. <laughs> okay. Okay, you two just gonna walk in. Well, I'm gonna look in the door first <laughs> before I just yeah. open it. Yep. Always gonna do, always gonna do that. Mm-hmm. You saw you saw uh, Andromeda kind of take the flashlight and peer into her room, and then just open the door and walk in. She's gone. So we'll start with you, Ward. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna peer in. I'm at southeast. Okay. So when you peer into the room, um, it looks like just your standard workstation. There's a bunch of tables in there, uh, tables in there, and stuff laying around the floors and stuff like that. It's not very organized. Okay. Um, in we go. In you go. So I make an air roll. Are we gonna handle in, handle them individually? Yep, you are gonna have to make an air roll. Oh, that's unbelievable. Oh, 
That's unbelievable. Sure hope you find oxygen in there. <laughs> Gosh, really? You know those are those are ones. They're only ones. <laughs> I just yeah, out of sixes. I know. I know. <laughs> Yeah, so once you get in there, it's just like it's kind of chaotic. Everything's kind of all over the place. It looks like probably people rummaged through what was in there before. So there's just stuff playing around. All right, I'll have to do another air roll and an observation if I'm going to search the room, correct? Right. Wait, you don't have to, you have to do another air roll? Yep. Because it takes time to go through and look. Oh, okay. Better find something. I guess I'm gonna. It's up to you. I, I'm gonna say my 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 air is pretty low. Um, I guess I'm gonna search and find. Uh, Andromeda might be dragging me out of here. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, so I guess I I'm like gonna it. keep going. I'm gonna do my air roll first. Dagum it. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, I've done my search. All right. So the search is done. Now I'm gonna do the observation. <laughs> oh man. So no modifiers, just straight roll, yeah. <sighs> Can't find anything. Nothing in here, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> man, you are enough. just having a hard time there, man. <laughs> you better believe it. Y'all, there's stuff just floating everywhere in this room. I can't find nothing in here. Okay. And I was really frustrated. <laughs> Don't use all your oxygen. <laughs> Too late. Too late. <laughs> Stay calm. Now we'll head over to uh, Helen before we do anything more with you, Ward. Sure. This is all kind of happening at the same time. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So, Helen, you are up. I'm looking in the window <laughs> or porthole, whatever it is. Okay. You look in, and from what you can tell, it does look like a bunker. Um, again, it looks kind of chaotic in there, stops all over the place. Uh, but that's all you say. Okay, I'm going to try to go in then. Okay. You are able to get in. I do my air roll. Yep. Come on. Good. Did you say stuff looks chaotic in there? Yeah, it just looks like, you know, stuff floating around and, you know, there's like blankets and a couple of mattresses and... Does it look uh, like there could be anything valuable left here? Uh, maybe. Okay. So, I guess I'll do do an air roll again, right? If I'm going to search? If you're going to search, yes. Okay. And then I click observation. Yes. And I add, do I add a modifier? No. Straight roll. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh god. That's not good. Is that oh. my stress die? Mm. Okay. Awesome. This is a bad idea. Who came up with this idea to come to the space station? <laughs> I wanted to skip it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we hear over the audio from Titanic. <laughs> I wanted to skip it. Yeah, I read the words like, hey, I'm done the, like, no air. <laughs> He's like, I told you to skip it. And she's like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> 
man. You're getting you're getting crap duties when you I get back to the ship. <laughs> you're cleaning the toilets. Hey, that's where right, I am right now. Here. <laughs> so you're gonna have to make a panic roll. Oh, fantastic! All right, how do I do that? Hold on. It's our first time. Of course. <laughs> Okay. Gosh, I really do not like this book. Okay, your current okay, your current stress level is one. So what you're gonna do is you're going to roll a d6 and add your current stress level, which is one. You got a four. four. You, you managed to keep your nerves in check. Barely. Ooh, good. So I'm okay? You're okay. Okay. Now, the thing I don't know is if you get another stress. If you get another stress, you just add another stress dice to it. And then you would, if you have to do the panic roll, you um, roll the d6 and then add two to it. Yeah, I'm trying to find out if she gets another stress. I don't think so. I, I, yeah, it doesn't say that you get another stress because you panicked. Yeah, you don't. You don't. So, I'm still oh, stressed. Oh, it says if you. Panic. Yeah, looking at the panic rolls there, it says you know you you can increase it given. <laughs> yeah. If you roll bad enough. So right now you're good. Okay. That's a that's a neat system. So my stress level still just at one. Yeah. And I didn't find anything. Both of you didn't find anything. Unbelievable. Okay. okay. Great. And Ramana is going to... Oh, shoot. I'll just let you guys see it. And Ramana is up here. He is going to do an observation roll. And I probably shouldn't tell you that. Well, we all had to do an observation roll. You know. I will say, and she is a crew member. Yeah. Okay. That is the... Okay. Okay. Um anything else you either one of you want to do? You unfortunately this is D D where you can try again. That that's it. So Oh you can't? Nope. You get no. one shot and that's it. Okay. Well then no, there's nothing else to do. All right. So we're just gonna meet back in the main room. Do we have to roll yep. to go back in the main room? Yeah, it's going to cost you air. Yeah. All right, y'all. Um, I'm really low on air. So, Andromeda, you want to be out there to catch me in case I uh, <laughs> happen to stumble into the room and air? pass out? Uh, guys, I found some air tanks. You did? I did. Oh, wow. Can you You want to sling one my way? <laughs> <laughs> Roll it. Roll it on we, the ground. How about we meet up in the in the in the in the center room? Okay. 
All right. You guys go ahead and make. I'm rolling. Roll. Oh, and I made job. it in. Me too. Okay. So he hands both of you one tank. Um, they weigh one pound or one unit, whatever you want to call it. Okay. She hands it. Did you say he? Uh, yeah, yeah, she does. Andromeda, yeah. Okay, so it weighs one. And we are encumbered if we're twice our strength. Is that right? Twice your strength, yeah. I'm okay. still good. Yep, me too. Um, she, How so, much is- so what that is, is you can use it when you want to. Um, it'll recharge your supply. But you have to have... You, you can't recharge if you're at zero air, though, right? Um... I'm gonna say yes. You can. Or so, so you get you get in. You've got zero. You just can't go anywhere until something happens to you. Then I suppose. Right. Okay. Can those tanks be refilled themselves, or are they like a one-time use kind of thing? It's a one-time use. Yeah. Okay. So you'll use this tank, and then it's that's it. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna look at the tank and say, yeah, it looks like the ones we had back in med school. Um, the seal's kind of one way on these things. Mm-hmm. So one, one, once we're done, you know, we can use them to, you know, we can throw them at, throw them at things, but, you know, that's about it. Fun. And right now, about- are we technically encumbered at all? Because we're in weightlessness. Yeah, it still hinders your movement. Okay. We're just saying that that's just a way of Keeping track of everything that's around us. Gotcha. Where I am. What was that? What was that? That was. Yeah. All right. And drama says, uh, "Hey, hey, boss. Mm-hmm. Do you mind if I um just go run in these other rooms real quick and just check to see what?" what we're looking at? Yeah, I mean, we looked and didn't find anything, but if you think you want to, go ahead. Okay. She starts running. I don't... She actually starts running. (laughs) Right, running in place and not going anywhere. Andromeda, we're weightless. (laughs) She's running this way. (laughs) There is another hallway. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, because it, it's the square yeah, around there's, us. There's supposed to be doors on on these things. Mm. So there's okay. It's so hard to. Yeah, it's hard to see. Okay. Is there a door on the top? There you go. Okay, so there's two other doors that we haven't gone in. Yeah, and there's a door going into the northeast too. Oh, up in the corner. Is that the radiation mm. room? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I thought Andromeda meant the rooms that we just searched. I wasn't mm. clear. Okay. She disappears for a minute. So give me, give me a well, sec I'll, here. I'll, I want to look in the window in the radiation room just to see what it was, <laughs> see what see what's in there. <laughs> I'm just kind of, okay. I'm going to, I'm just hitting a bu- couple buttons on the terminals, just checking it out. Might want to. Hmm. Hmm? Man, I saw, I'm rolling like crap too. I gave you guys the tanks. All right. <clears throat> <Am I? laughs> yeah. So 
the mushroom. <laughs> Let's hear guys. All right. After a couple of minutes, she comes running back. She's like, uh, there's not really, really too much over there. There's a couple of escape pods. No. And uh, I found some electrical parts. Um, and I forgot to mention that I found some uh, mechanical parts too. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. Electrical and mechanical. Yep. How many for each? I found one of each. Can you carry them both? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. I'm very strong. <laughs> <laughs> We're very <laughs> thankful that you are. <laughs> it's uh um there isn't anywhere else to go that way though. Everything else is blocked. Um, in fact, she kicks this door open. She's just like, she's on a roll right now. <laughs> she's like, she's energized. Yeah. She, uh, even holds the door open for you. She says, Oops. I'm going to ask her and say, how, how are you at, uh, handling radiation? Radiation? <laughs> Nothing. Well, oh, that's right. When you look in there, uh, you actually don't see anything. It's empty. Hmm. So I suppose this is there may have been a uh, a reactor in there. From what you can tell. And they now, wouldn't have drama comes over and shines a light in there. Because your light doesn't go all yeah, the way yeah, yeah, yeah. in. She shines a flashlight in there and goes and uh it shines to like the back of the room. I'll just go ahead and reveal this as well. Just another room. You guys don't see like text and stuff, do you? No. 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 Okay. All right. Uh, there is some stuff in the back corner of the room. She can't. She doesn't know what it is. Actually, I see some stuff in the back of the room, the back corner there, but I can't tell what it is. Um, I just don't suggest we go in there. Just because we don't see anything in there doesn't mean it's there's no radiation. It might be contained. That's just my thought. But then she goes and she starts running away again. She kicks this door open. She's just kicking doors open now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just watching in admiration. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, just chilling out. She's. I saw that you guys were having a hard time, so I'm just trying to make things a little bit easier. <laughs> Thank you, Andromeda. And she just disappears into this room. <laughs> And she comes right back. This is, uh, she says, I could probably use your guys' help in this room. Sure. Okay. I follow. Yep. I'm going to do my air supply roll. Yep. It's going to take, take you two rolls. All right. I stop halfway through. I'm like, air, air, air. <laughs> do you need help? Does he need assistance or can he do it himself? No, nah, you can go ahead and okay. use it. We need to roll twice. Yep, for each room. The okay, hallway. So that's and one. Room. And then that's two. I'm good. So I'm good now, y'all. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> the air's kind of stale, <laughs> but it's but it works. Still working? Yeah. Yes. It's really cold, though. Yeah. <laughs> Really cold. Yeah, this has been in the vacuum of space for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hope you don't get pneumonia. Nah, uh, not that cold. Frosty. 
<laughs> Tony inside. <laughs> <laughs> so I checked the uh, doors in both of these rooms. Um, those ones at the south, they're solid. We're not getting through those. I can tell you that much. Um, Aaron, what about this that's one okay. that's to the east here? What's that? Is there one to the east, or is that an artifact of the map? Nope. Can you uh, can you artifact of, artifact of the map? Yeah. I highlight it. Yeah. I was thinking so the that one that might the be south, a door, but it's not. Never mind. The one to the south is the one that we encountered when we first came into the right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So yep. this is the north one. Yeah, you're in here with us, right, Ward? In here. Yes. No. There. So in here, there's uh two. There's two um, escape pods. Okay. So, uh, Andromeda says, "Yeah, I I searched the air pods to the west, and um, that's where I found the electrical parts. So maybe we can search these too." Yeah, I'll I'll search the I'll search the uh, the one that's there on the bottom. Okay. You, air so shine. no wait. So for these, I'm not gonna oh, make you do a air roll. Oh, you specific. won't make us. They're small pods. Okay. Well, there's my observation. No. This was empty, y'all. Unbelievable. <laughs> 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 Should I do the should I do the top one? Yeah. But when you go to do that, it's locked. I I hit it with the air empty air tank. Hit <laughs> the bottom one. <laughs> it just, it just boom. It did not open? No, it is not open. It's like cool. Well, here here I uh, hand hand drama the air tank. I was like, you could hit it with this. <laughs> Maybe you could hit it harder than I could. Andromeda, how do we open this escape pod? Uh, you take that, um, take that maintenance jack. Maybe you can kind of wedge it. Mm. I don't know how these things are stuck to the wall. Are are um escape pods vertical or horizontal? I don't know. That's um. Because if they're vertical and they're on the wall, we can try to jam the um, mm -hmm. jam the maintenance jack up underneath it and try to catch the lip of the of the cover. I don't think I'm going to mess with that because uh, if something happens, I don't want to create more problems. Um, but she starts walking away. She walks up here, and she said, uh, "We might be able to get through here." And check around back, but uh, this door is kind of jammed a little bit. Um, did you <laughs> kick it like the other doors? <laughs> just no. That this this, is, this isn't as solid as the other ones. It's just kind of jammed. So uh, <sighs> she asks you, Helen. She said, "Is it okay if I try to to pry it open?" Yeah. Okay. I wonder how uh, Titanic and Cable are doing. I haven't heard from them in a while. They're probably taking a nap. Yeah, wake up. <laughs> wake up. Wake up. <laughs> I stroll back out of the air over here. <laughs> I got uh I'm not doing well with the stress, so I was throwing up to be honest with you. <laughs> well you're not even uh, over here. I will <laughs> control it. I'll uh I'll take a look at you when I get back. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all right. You see Andromeda gonna give the door just like a little bit of a little bit of a hit. Um and then you see her give it another one and it's like a little bit harder and then she does it again uh, right now I want you 
to to make a air supply rule. Sure. Sitting cool over here for a change. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we just need different air. The air that we were using was broken. <laughs> you see her Bro broken air. Okay, I, I, we'll, have, we'll have to check that on the ship. There, we will. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, this air seems to work a lot better than the last air you had. <laughs> see Andromeda pushing the door. She's like, okay. You see, she's like she's kind of like getting a little upset. You see her turn around. And she really hits the door. She hits so hard that Titanic, you're still in your room, right? I'm not, I'm back on the bridge now. Okay, so cable all four of you take a stress die. Take a stress she, die? She all four of you take a stress die. She hit this door so hard that it kind of shocked you. She just showed her raw power. Oh. When you say take a stress, you mean add one to our stress level? Add a stress die, yeah. Okay. So when you do that, your input value is one? Yeah, just just click on one. Yeah, right. Just click on the one in your stress die uh, on, your, on your character sheet. So we've seen what she's capable of for the first time. Exactly. I mean, okay. this was like serious robot stuff. Terminator. Yeah, like really hitting this door. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, and I'm gonna take a little break from the bridge. Uh, I'm gonna say here, I'm gonna head to the mess hall. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little breather. Get a little whiskey. <laughs> he turns around and says, uh, "Doors open." Are you okay, Andromeda? Yeah, are you all right? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Yeah, let's, let's get this door open. That was awesome. <laughs> it was scary, but that was awesome. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, glad glad that you're on our team. You don't ever get mad at us, do you? <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> she's like, I'm not answering. <laughs> you want to go check out this room? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so you all move over. And disappear. Till magically into the black. Hmm. Hey, it's a it's a hallway. <laughs> we have to roll to go in there. Yes, air supply. Nope, I'm using my oxygen tank. There you go, Ward. Like I, I, I'm say, I'm saying, say, Helena, see you using that tank there. Um, breathe slowly. It's cold. Oh, thanks. It's real cold. This is the pits. Yeah, but I, I mean. This air seems to work better than the other air, so. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we have our uh, air system checked on the ship. This is the it's best it's air. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do a once over on the scrubbers, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when you enter this. You enter this hall, and can you see the uh, symbols? Mm-hmm. Okay. There's a medical and a target. They're like they're kind of like closets. So hmm. the uh, the the one over by Ward is it looks like a medical, and then the one over by Andromeda it looks like a uh, looks like a reticle. So um, <laughs> that's all that you really seen here, other than. Which you've right. seen in all the other hallways. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ransack the medical closet. Um, <laughs> yep. You don't have to do air for these either. What's a radical? Hmm? 
What's a reticle? It's like the thing that you see in a sight. Like a scope um, or whatever. So yeah. that would that indicate to me weapons? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm searching yeah, that. Thing. We definitely need weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Just an observation roll then for the for the closet. Yes. You go first, Ward. Let's go, big one. Uh oh. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Isn't that a success? It should be. It's not the. Oh, it is. It oh, is. Wait, wait. Uh, uh, my fault. No, yeah. Right. Wait, now that's a stress die. But yeah, that's also success on the stress die. That's yeah. right. Yes, Does it that is. mean he, he loses stress, or that's no. a good thing? No, no you can just, use the stress to your advantage as long as it's not being over. Not, as long as you're not overpowered by it. Okay, that's but you right. still didn't find anything. No. No. Um, that's that's I found something. You found. Oh, okay. Guys, there's something buried in here. Papers floating everywhere. <laughs> oh, so you can use the positive part of the stress die to actually get something too. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I th- yep. okay. I thought that was a separate. There is a positive side to to uh, to okay. have those. You're like, <laughs> yeah, rifling through everything. You found. You didn't find much. It looks like a lot of people already took most things, but in the back corner, you did find. Six MDMA pills. Y'all, I found an MDMA pill back here. <laughs> is that ecstasy? It is ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Someone's having a party Space of one. Drugs. Space drugs. <laughs> Space drug. Uh, and yeah, I, I know. I take, I take and and put the pill in my pocket, <laughs> <laughs> and then put my other hand in my other pocket as everybody turns around. Don't go sweating because that thing could go through your skin. You could have a problem. <laughs> okay, Helen, do you want to search here? Mm-hmm. No way, means. Uh. I found something, but I'm panicking. Okay. Roll D6. Do I add anything to it? Oh. Uh, it's going to be plus two. Oh, no. Three. Yep. You're fine. I'm so. good? Yep. Okay. So what did I find? You found three <laughs> ammunition. For a specific type of weapon or... No, if you remember how ammunition works. Oh, it's general. Yeah. Right. Three ammunition. Is there a weight and, on that? And you found a key. A key. Ooh. Okay. Does it have any markings on it? No, it actually looks like a pretty standard <laughs> key. A key to a door, or a key to like a box, or something. Yeah, probably, maybe. <laughs> okay. While you were doing that, um, Andromeda opened up this door and basically you'll see. Why does it do that? I hit reveal and then it doesn't reveal. <laughs> so that whole that hallway is blocked. Um, Andromeda, you want to see if it was it was the other hallway blocked? The west hallway when you went in yeah. to check things. So I can actually go ahead and just reveal that to you because okay. she can explain it. Yeah, she said she found a couple of escape pods and found some mm-hmm. stuff in there. Okay. Here, let me just do this. Does the key go to the escape pod? We should probably go try it. Okay. So you guys want to head back out? Yeah. Yep. And um, should we check the com the computers interface in the main room, or are we 
pretty confident there's nothing there. Uh, you could check. I don't think anybody searched the main room. No. Yeah, let's see how my arrow looks. Um, moving around the side, moving east. <laughs> Page yeah, drop one yeah, to go there. And then I'm going to go into the hallway towards the center section. There's another one. And then one more to go into the center section. Okay. <laughs> so you're back in the middle? Yes, I'm back in the middle now. Okay. Um, Helen, what did you want to do? Try the key in the escape pod. And when you do, it opens. Okay. Do I need to roll air to search or no? Um, no. Okay. Just observation. Wow. Nothing. No, you, you no, that's two successes. two successes. What does that mean? And your stress die. Oh, yeah. oh, so that I did find. Okay. Yep. Um, stress die is working out for you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Gotta keep you stressed all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right, the stress definitely helps. <laughs> found one electrical spare part. Ooh. And that's one weight? Yes. Okay. And you found... You found... You found two more air tanks. Ooh. And those are one apiece? Yes. I can help you carry something if you need me to. Yeah, Andromeda, can you carry these oxygen tanks? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So they're hers. Oh, <laughs> All right, now I'm, I'm going to do a quick search in this room. <laughs> Ooh, D6. Success, and I got a roll for a... Yeah, go ahead and do that. Panic. So it's just a roll. Just click panic, I think. Yeah. Oh. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've already we've already uh, established that you know work in panic. So. Yeah. Let's you take panic. Need home. Hmm? So do I find it and then panic, or do I panic and then find, or what? I mean, what? What's the order? Um, <laughs> or I say, there's something here, but whatever's happening is happening. <laughs> yeah, you're like shaking. Are you panicking because you're all by yourself in a dark room? Okay. Hold on a second. Oh, my stress level goes up by one. Okay. Wait a second. But um, the panic roll was six. Oh, that was five plus one, so it's six. The result is actually six if you hold the mouse over because it it um it added it in, so it's a total of six. Oh, it did. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you mine just, were just, just click. Yeah, just click panic for a roll button, unless you clicked in a one d six. Perfect. Okay, so you're good then. You're fine. Yeah. See, Helen, you rolled. Just rolled one d six. I actually clicked the panic roll. So, yo, you click panic under the one d three. Yep, I clicked panic, um, and that automatically. Okay, I'll do that. That's next good time. to know. Do I need that's to go cool. back? No, no, no. Okay. All right, so I'm I'm still good. You're still good on uh, on air, y'all. Um, and I found something. I don't know what it is. And you uh. You found one electrical spare part. Ooh. Um, I'm sorry. Well, mechanical. Nice. So we've got two electrical and two mechanical. 
And those are what, one pound? Yes. All right, I am officially overweight. Um, I don't know what over encumbrance does. I guess I have to do two air checks when you move. Can you yell to us? Well, I don't have to yell. You know, I can. You know, we got a <laughs> radio in our oh, heads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Andromeda, can you? Well, go ahead. Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Andromeda, can you uh, handle carrying another one of these spare parts? Yeah, yeah, I can. Um, Helen, are we ready to go? Yeah, I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Okay. All right, I'm in the I'm in the main room in here. Helen, do I, you'll have to make two air supply rules to get where we are. Okay. Okay, so I give Before the, you leave, you want to check the computer. They're not what? working. There's no power. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I just checked the room. So, so that's one. Mean it. Oh, you were coming this way. I thought you were going to go down south. This is closed, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I had to come down this here. Way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'll give the uh, the mechanical part to Andromeda and yep. say I'm I'm heading out. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's going to take you both three rolls to get out. Okay. One, two, three. Easy peasy. Squeezing the lemons, y'all. <laughs> Tell me that air is different. Tell me that. <laughs> it's just better, well, it's better it, quality we, air. We're, we're, we're not, as, not as stressed going through this area, and we it, it's okay. Um, I'm just more stressed than I was. <laughs> I, was say, I think we're all more stressed there. <laughs> yeah. And we're back. Now the question is, do y'all like being stressed? Uh, kind of helped us a little bit, but that was interesting. Yeah, it's kind of weird how it works. They can either completely, F, you know, make your day suck or be really helpful. Yeah. Yeah, because if y'all want to, um, I, I, I could spend some time talking to you and, you know, help you work through some of this stress if you would like. But, I mean, it's entirely up to you. So that's a question I don't know about. Like, how do do we get rid of the stress? Die? Is that one way to do it? Is talk to him as a mental health provider or something? Is that is that a skill of yours, Ward? It is. Okay. Yes, it is. But I don't know about um, automatic uh, stress reduction. I haven't actually. So oh, if we spend every every five to ten minutes spent resting in a safe area, stress level reduced by one. Okay. Oh, so we should be able to go down on the ship, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you notice that cable provided the game mother's okay with that. <laughs> I guess I'm assuming you. Yeah, I'm assuming everybody went. Did everybody go back to the bridge? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, let's let's. Um, Andromeda, you want to uh, drop off? Drop off all the um. Spare parts. Just add yeah. them to the yeah. to inventory. Yep. What are you so doing with that next to sea ward? <laughs> oh, this and I pull out the blister pack. <laughs> so, so I mean, I I we can wanna. you know we can we can stash it in the med lab. I mean, <laughs> what would we use that for? I'm curious. Could you sell it to people like vendors and stuff? Oh, make some money. That's a possibility. Mm. Okay. I, could we sell right. the stuff that we found on this on the spaceship or whatever the um, base? Hey, you can sell anything you have. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if I would go to money. a vendor to sell ecstasy, but <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, sell it on the black they market. are they are they are legal, and I am a you know medical provider, so I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that was a really, really successful trip, guys. Thanks yep. to everyone so, for hanging in there and for Cable getting us docked. And Ward, thanks for going to using the station up all the air. Us. Yeah. <laughs> well, we we're lucky yeah. to find that air. And Titanic, I hope you learned a thing or two. <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go look at the air scrubbers. 
<laughs> I'm convinced <laughs> something's off. <laughs> um, yeah. But well, what all are we adding into ship inventory? And I'll so add that have, real quick. Yeah, we have there. There is a section for ship parts in there. Yep, I'm I'm in the editing the inventory right now. So if oh, you yeah. just tell me what it is that we grabbed, I'll um. Let's see. I have um two air tanks, two mechanical parts, and one electrical part. Okay. Someone has one electrical part. We ended up with two. And then two air tanks. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. We're going to put that under. We'll put that under EVA, I suppose. Yeah, that's probably good. That was an exciting time for you, Titanic and Cable. <laughs> oh, the next one will probably be more exciting for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a stretch for uh, feel a little better. Uh, stressful day. Yeah, right. somebody else should have had a, an electrical part, too. Yeah, we picked up two of each on the space station, and we had one mechanical already, so it should be three mechanical, two electrical. Oh, three mechanical, two electrical? Okay. Yep. All right. Actually, Updated. I think it was me who picked it up. <laughs> Whoops. Was it you that picked it up? Okay. Yeah, I did. So we should have three and one, right? Yes, yeah, three mechanical and two electricals. Total. Not three and two, or three mm-hmm. and one? Three and two. Okay. <laughs> so make sure that we're not, you know. Yeah, we had cheating, one, one cheating mechanical. even unintentionally. <laughs> nope. We found two two electrical and two mechanical. And we had one mechanical, so three and two. All right. Yep. So I'm I'm combing over the air scrubbers <laughs> <laughs> at this point. Do we feel like we, we should fix the ship now since we have all this stuff? Can we do that where we are? Maybe we'll do it when we land on our next. Uh, With all these panic die and stuff, maybe we should uh, go take, take a rest. Birth. Yeah, and, uh, and maybe uh, start again, you know, have it fixed, start again, you know. But you guys can take a rest when you sleep in uh, the cryopods if you want. I mean, that's yeah, true. We got to get. Did we just pick up cargo? We yes, we are fully. Yeah, we are fully loaded. Yeah, so we need to we need to get moving. I think we spent quite a bit of time on that. I don't want to get docked. Yeah, we don't want WI on our butts. Yeah, because no, they don't have, have a specific don't. time requirement for these things. So let's get let's get moving and get into cryo sleep. Okay. All right, so if that's what we're going to do, Where are then Lalande. Okay. Everybody need to eat. It's all, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm heading there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <on> runs. <laughs> Me first. So I bet. I, I know what she's. I know what she's doing. <laughs> she's making cornbread. <laughs> exactly what she's doing. <laughs> Think about it this way. You got the goop, right? And then you have cornbread too. That's about it. So Yeah. Look at cornbread as a as a luxury item. No 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 complaints. Yeah. Look guys, I think that was super successful. Definitely exhausted though. Yeah, me too. Uh, Andromeda yawns, but you know that she's not really yawning. <laughs> so Andromeda, was that like the most powerful you can be? Or like at what level? Hmm? What do you mean? 
when you broke the door um, or broke through the door, you used a lot of strength. Is that like the optimal power that you have or? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty strong. Yeah. Okay. You want to arm wrestle? Oh no! Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to I, I have to set a broken bone. Yeah, I don't We're way think. too early in our journeys to have to do that. Right. That one you might get your arm ripped off. Yeah, oh, I'll try not to rip any arms off. Well, we I mean, we ask more than try not. Do we have a do not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gonna tell us if you ever get mad at us? I'm, I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to injure you. Yeah, okay. we're all friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only here to help. Well, you were really helpful down there. I mean, we couldn't have carried even carried any of that stuff without you. So, thank you. No problem, boss. What about you, uh, Titanic and? Uh, yeah, well, did you guys get anything good while we were out there? Yeah, just uh, you know, just need a little breather. I mean, it was uh, getting a little, little, little much for me. I mean, we get that that landing and you know that noise, especially when you're pilot, you hear a loud noise. I, I wasn't sure what it was. You know, I just, yeah. uh, just I'm just a little tired now. Just feeling a little drowsy. Yeah, and this gotcha. was my first spacewalk or. And the thought of not being able to breathe is a little freaky, so <laughs> I had to take a break. <laughs> We're building up your well, tolerance there, Titanic. I get it. I get it. Yeah, I, I didn't find anything wrong with the air scrubbers, so I mean, okay. maybe we were just a little little nervous. Yeah. Huffing and puffing a little bit too much in the beginning. <laughs> Very good. See, it, it was nice to get that, you know, lungs full of Super chilled air. That that was mm-hmm. that was a uh, was kind of nice, <laughs> refreshing. People pay lots of money for that kind of treatment, you know. <laughs> All right. If you guys have nothing else to talk about, we can just say we get through it and mm-hmm. get on moving to cryo sleep. Um, I need or to hyper- go. Uh, don't I need to go make a? I need to go make a thingy log. I'm gonna swing by. I'm gonna swing by the med lab, and then I will meet y'all on the cryo deck. I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit longer and just uh, leave my head back, and I'll meet you guys down there. I'm gonna go to my room real quick. Titanic always run into his room. <laughs> when I do a log, do I talk to mother too? No. Right? No? Well, you, well, you, can. you can. I would like to. I'm in the... You want me to pull you out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just real quick. We'll be back. I'm going to the cryo deck. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to head there too. Yeah, I'll head that way. After munching on some cornbread, I'm ready to sleep. Yeah, we need our hydration pills, right? Well, Hardy, well, we when you're them? there, we should get yeah. there. I've already got them and I'm checking over, checking over the tubes. Okay. To make sure that, you know, with our, our rough, <laughs> our rough jarring that everything, everything looks okay. Okay. I'm and our, you checked our oxygen, which is good too. You're updating the quantity. Yep, already. I've already dropped it down. Okay. I try to remember to do that as soon as I pick something up to edit the. Who's this down there? Cable's having oh. trouble finding the crowd. The crowd. Oh yeah, sorry. I want to go out <laughs> 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 He's just like slowly. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we all ready to go down? 
Uh, yeah. yeah. For whatever reason, I can't move my character. I don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, yeah. Weird. Hey. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, I, I can't click on it. It's a roll, a roll 20 thing. Okay. I'll move you over here. Yeah, thanks. Fix that later. Well, I, I think it's local. <laughs> All right. Hydration pills. Thank one you. One for you. Uh, one for you. Yeah. And no, Andromeda, you don't get one. One for oh. you. <laughs> one for you. I'm checking it. Make sure it's not drugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you didn't mix it up. <laughs> no. Nope. You're going on a trip. This <laughs> the would... best hyper sleep ever. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, that would be a nightmare. I, I can't imagine that um, that, and, and I'm saying this as Ward. It's like I, I can't imagine that uh, these hypersleep, these cryopods would even work with that in your system. Yeah. Um, it might just spit you back. Postpone the uh, effects of that drug even working until you wake up. <laughs> so. The only one way to find out. Everyone have a good sleep. Good work, take a shot. <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night. Yeah. Thanks, Andromeda. Yep. Andromeda yeah, helps you all in to your to your your pods. And they shut tightly. And you all are asleep. Dun, dun, dun. We got 15 minutes. Yeah, we'll just stop here. Ooh.